So uh, I saw a question recently. It was simple search bar to find movies. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to see if we can create a simple search bar to find movies. We're going to do it to PHP. Uh, we can call this file search. And we're just going to let's echo. Let's echo a hello world. Just to make sure it's working as we would like it to work. We're going to test this. All right. So we have our first part. Our first part, yeah. This is the first entry. So for search bar, what do we need? We need a search bar. So we need some HTML. So let's get some HTML going. Right. What you like to do is uh, PHP Storm has this template. Maybe it's laziness, but um, we're just going to take the template from this and put it here. So now we have a template. We could give the page a title. We could call it search bar in PHP. Which is great and um, most likely what we're going to do is we're going to use a form element and we can actually put in our search bar one time so we're going to get uh, type text can't remember give it a name query so let's see how this looks so let's run this one time all right so we have three there all right so let's do some more formatting uh we want to give it Let's say we want to give it a little header, so let's call it h2 search bar in PHP. So we want to test that and see how that looks. Yeah, so we want to remove the hello world that we have on top here, and that's no longer necessary. We want to give it a little description search bar in PHP. So that should be it for us. So the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to submit this form, so we're just going to put in our uh, another input i think yeah and uh, this type is going to be submit uh, we want to give it we want a page break and that should do it oh we should give it a name i believe the name is the actual name so search and this is this should be pretty good uh we want to we want some space in between the submit so additional space apparently that one break didn't do it so we have some additional space there. So this is great. This is the general template. And the next thing we would like to do is give it a list. So you want to list the movies and then search for it. So we're going to do that. We're going to list the movies. So to do to list the movies, we need to create a list. So we're just going to create a simple URL element. URL means list. Yes, movie one. We'll copy this down all right so we have four movies we can list four movies and let's display great so we have our list of movies maybe we can give it a little title maybe it says list of movies so let's check that out let's add that list of movies yeah so that's a lot better so now we have a list of movies and we have a listing of the movies personally i would like to remove this indent well i like to do a lot of things but we're going to work with this so we have a list of movies we have our search bar in php uh we have our actual search bar we can submit the form and well right now it's just a, a get so we see the showing up in the uh in the link as a param and what we to do now is you're going to do some PHP. So, so when we submit, when we press submit here, we would like to get whatever value we entered there. So we could already see it. So let's set the test there. We could see it showing up as a query and test. But we want to do this using post instead, and we want to also echo that value once we receive a post in PHP. So we're going to change this action to post or method. It's method, I think, to post. And we want to check for that post. So maybe check for the name. We can check for the name here. I think if I don't remember how to do this. Yes. Alright, so what this should be doing is we're gonna to check to see if search exists in the post um global variable. Alright? 
So actually, let's try that. So test. So what should happen is test should not display. Test should not display. Great. So test is not being displayed, and we want to put test now. And now we can see test is being displayed. So let's reload that again. So let's put a query. Well, no. So we actually let's try to actually output what we get in. So we're gonna say this is the query. We're gonna check the post. We're gonna say I said post. And we want to get the name, which is query. Um, yeah. It's short and stuff. Otherwise, it's null or empty or no query. Let's put it empty. Okay. So we're gonna echo the query is, and then we're gonna put the query. All right. So let's test this. Keep doing that. All right, so now we're not seeing anything. I'm gonna search for a movie. Let's see Spider-Man. We submit query Spider-Man. Is that spell correct? All right, so we get to go. So what we're gonna do, well, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, a database called movies and we're gonna list our movies there. And then we'll be able to search for them. So we're gonna do that next. All right, my, uh, my database crashed for a second. So we have a movies database and now we're going to create a movie table. It's going to be really simple, we're just going to give it the ID and we're going to give it a title. And that's going to be it, TLTLE. Okay, that's correct, we will give it a five. That should be good. Apply. Because um, you know all goes well, we currently have uh, in the movies database, we have a movie table and we're going to list a, a movie. So we're going to call a first movie, movie one, a second movie, movie two, and a third movie, movie three. All right, we're going to apply this, save this, and now we should have a list of movies. So the next thing we want to do is we want to query that table. So we want to do a few queries. So let's see if we can run it through. We're going to create some functions for them. We're going to call a query that says get movies so that's our first function what else would we like to do we would like to search for a movie so that should be it search movies and actually that's all that we want to do so we have two functions and we can call those functions when we need them uh the search movie i guess we could probably take in a search parameter so query oh yeah all right and then we run the search in here and get movies will just get and this returns returns all the movies all right so let's get into some database stuff we're going to create a connection and just use them within these functions to fulfill this fulfill these fulfill these functions and then we should have our application working so that's what we're going to do next so we have some old code to guide us all right so what we need here is the get connection function. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. And I, well, this is just a connection string. We're gonna change this to uh, movies, I believe, and the rest should work fine. Step one. Now we want to get all movies. So I'm just gonna use this query somewhere here. It says get all. Nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna try catch this and return the result. So let's just copy this. We can copy this exactly as is. We're gonna put this comment on top. And we're gonna say select from the name of the movie. The name of the table is movie, right? So select from movie. We should get we should get an array with the ID and the title. So this is fantastic. It should work as is. And what we can do here is open up PHP and we see get all movies. Wow, get movies. Can we know the function? That's correct. All right, so we're going to do a for each as movie. All right, so that should give us an array. And then for each of these and for each, all right, nice and neat. And then for each of these, we're going to, we're going to just echo the title. All right, nice, nice. So that should be it for us. And no errors, it should work. 
How do we know it's working? Let's just let's add an action movie. Let's add a movie. I'm going to call this movie movie four. I'm going to apply it. Let's see if that works. If it works, we good. Nice. Alright, so now we have some actual movies, and we're going to search for one. We're going to say, let's check out movie four. And um, we're going to press submit and oh my, nothing happens. We only know what the query is, but the list remains the same. So what, I, what we're going to actually do now is we're going to implement the search for this. And to do that, we're going to use our trusty old, old code. <laughs> Somewhere here, there's something that says search. There we go. All right, so this is, nope, sorry. We're still looking for it. Search summary. Oh, there we go. So, this is our web query. So, we're going to use this to get the results we want. I think, yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, so let's give it a comment. We're going to say search for movies, and then we're going to say select from snippets. Nope, we're going to say select from movie. My title is equal to we, and we don't want to limit on it, so we want to get all the movies that are. Familiar, we're going to put in a query here. I'm going to say fetch all and we return the results. Let's just return the results. And that should do it. I feel like I'm making a mistake somewhere. Search movies. Alright, so when we call this, we're going to call the search movie function and we're going to say this is going to give us movies. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So, yeah, this is going to give us. We're going to call this function search movies, and we're going to pass in a query, and this is going to give us all the movies we can find. The problem is, how are we going to display it, right? Um, and we don't have a solution to that problem as yet. So we have to think about that. Can you think of a solution? Because I can't think of one as yet. Thinking, thinking, thinking. So we call in this function here, or we search in this movie up here. So what should we do? All right, so let's do an if statement, all right? So if it has a search, if we did search, we do a particular something. Otherwise, we do a particular something. If that makes sense. So instead of Using get movies here, we're going to use get movies up here. We're going to say movies. All right, so movies. We're going to do that, and then we're just going to use movies here. So in this case, if we do search, we will run the search query, and just generally speaking, in all other scenarios, we just run the get movies function, and this, in theory, should work as expected. And so if I do moon for, I should get an error. And the error says something, 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 something. Switch so this one. So let's check that out. That's what happens when you copy code. Um, actually, don't know what's wrong here. So give me a second. Well, it might be quite obvious. I think the problem here is with this. Right, so we have a query, we have two queries and one is overwriting the other and creating problems. Alright, so we're going to change that and see if that was a problem. You know, not 100% sure, but well, that seems to be the thing we're doing wrong. So that is the problem, except now we can't, well, we can't reload the page. We don't want to reload the page. We can't reload the page and we get back a result. So right now, we can search for a movie and it just shows up as in this, but we want to, want to be also able to reload the page. But that's pretty simple to do. Um, we just create a, a, a link, I think. We can call this link refresh results. And maybe we can just do that, I, I don't know. That didn't work. Alright, so there's this thing called PHP something something. Is it session post request? I really can't remember this. Something to do with server. 
silver current current all right i'll find this out basically we want to get the current page we kind of know it already what is it search the php all right what's oh there this is the guy right here all right so let's be starting that and that should be it to refresh results uh, yeah so we go we search in nothing for that we probably shouldn't like yeah so this is our search by in php it works as expected the search isn't perfect and i would like to make it a little bit better but i think let's see if we just put in moon no so you have to put in the full thing which doesn't seem to be fair so let's go back to that search and as you can see um how to do this using pdo i think what we can do is the following don't quote me on it try it yourself so this should be a lot better i think or unless it's not working at all it's not working at all so i'm doing something wrong Yes. All right, so what we want is a like query. Here we go. That's our guy right there. So that should work. Uh, now when we do this, we should get our results. All right, so we just enter like the first few characters and we should be able to find what we are looking for. So that's our official search bar in PHP. Um, I don't think it works. Oh, it works for that as well. So yeah, we are now complete.